Hi and welcome to our simple guide to Keswick. In this video you will find all the information that the other travel vlogs tend to ignore. Like how easy is it to get here? How easy is it to park? And can you get here by public transport? Plus we'll reveal what you'll find when you wander around town. As well as covering the main tourist attractions, we'll also answer the simple basic questions like is there somewhere where the kids can let off steam? Is there a cinema or theatre? Or are the streets just full of gift shops? We'll even tell you about local amenities such as churches, medical services for both people and pets, plus whether there's a post office or bank. So stick around for the next 15 minutes or so and enjoy our indispensable simple guide to Keswick. Welcome to Keswick, the largest town in the Northern Lake District. It sits on the River Greta, close to the North Shore of Derwent Water, the third largest lake in the Lake District. It has a rich history and the feel of a town much larger than it actually is. You can shop till you drop in the busy town centre, which has a wide range of shops, cafes and public houses, and a bustling market on Thursdays and Saturdays. Or you can enjoy lake and riverside walks, go for a cruise on Derwent Water, or hire a boat of your own. The town has a range of sports facilities, both for those who enjoy watching as well as taking part and some very interesting and unusual attractions, from the museums to the puzzling place where you won't believe what you're seeing. If outdoor adventure is your thing, then Keswick is the perfect base. Many walks start from or close to the town. To something a little more extreme, there are guided adventure companies offering a range of activities. Getting to Keswick by road is easy enough. It is situated at the point where the main A591 road from the Southern Lake District meets the A66 road that links Penrith with the coastal towns of Workington and Whitehaven. Junction 40 of the M6 motorway is just 20 minutes away. The main road to the Borrowdale Valley, Honister Pass, Buttermere and Crummer Quarter starts from Keswick. Wherever you are heading, you can top up with fuel at one of the two fuel stations in town. Keswick once had a railway linking it with Penrith and the West Cumberland coast. The three miles from Keswick to Threlkeld is now a footpath and cycleway, which runs from the old railway station. The town centre has been largely pedestrianised and there is only a limited amount of time-limited roadside parking. However, there are several pay-and-display car parks both close to the town centre and adjacent to the boat landings. The main bus station is beside Booth Supermarket close to the centre of town. There is an hourly service from here to Penrith, Cockermouth and Workington. There is also a good service to the South Lake. The Borrowdale Valley is served by a regular open top service, whilst there are also buses to Bottomere and Crummock Water. Taxis are also available from a taxi ramp opposite the bus station. If you prefer to get around on two wheels, bike hire is also available. The River Greeter runs through Keswick, and divides the town into two. North of the river stands Fitz Park, the largest of the town's three main parks. It is home to Keswick cricket and football clubs, and has a wide range of facilities for those who are of a sporting nature. A large children's playground stands at the north end of the park, along with a multi-use games area, gym equipment and a BMX track. There is also a bowling green, grass tennis courts, potting green and an arboretum, all in a glorious riverside setting with stunning views of the surrounding hills. South of the river lies the bustling town centre, with a wide range of shops and a market on Thursdays and Saturdays. 
It truly is a shopper's paradise. Booth Supermarket is to the west side of the town centre. There is also a co-op with its own small car park close to the town centre, as well as a number of independent food shops selling a wide range of items. The market also features a greengrocer and specialist food retailers, making for an eclectic mix for the determined foodie. Gift shops are in abundance, whether you are looking for traditional Lake District style presents for aunts and uncles, or something a little more unusual. Outdoor clothing shops abound, with many of the major brands having their own outlets in the town. The most prominent building in the marketplace is the Moot Hall. The present building dates to 1813. However, there have been more than one buildings on the site since it was first established. Over the years, the building has been a prison, a courthouse, a copper store and a museum. Nowadays, the Moot Hall is an information centre and possibly the town's most important landmark. On the southern edge of the town is Doan Water. Keswick Launch run regular cruises around the lake daily during the summer months and at weekends throughout most of the year. Cruise times and operating dates can be found on their website or at the pier. Beyond the piers, a lakeside footpath leads to Friars Crag, overlooking Doan Water one of the most popular and easy-to-reach viewpoints in the area. Close to the piers is the award-winning Theatre by the Lake, a modern theatre featuring two stages, exhibition space and a bar and restaurant where you can enjoy a light afternoon snack or a pre-theatre meal. Opposite the entrance to the theatre is Crow Park, a wide expanse of grassland where the kids can let off steam while you enjoy stunning views over the lake and the mountains beyond. Adjacent to Crow Park is Hope Park, with its beautiful ornamental gardens, traditional games such as Crazy Golf, a bird hide and nature trail, plus picnic areas and a cafe with plenty of indoor and outdoor seating available. Those coming to the lakeside areas by car can use the large lakeside pay and display car park, which is ideally situated for all the activities. Walking from the lakeside area to the town is also not a problem, as the often busy Borrowdale Road is avoided by using this underpass, which leads directly to the start of the town's pedestrianised shopping district. If you fancy a holiday or short break in the town, there is a wide range of accommodation from which to choose. Luxury hotels, town centre hotels, cosy B&Bs, self-catering and campsites are all available. There is also no shortage of good quality restaurants and pubs. From the humble chippy to a variety of flavours from around the world. Many years ago, a major employer in the town was the Derwent Pencil Factory. The Keswick area has been associated with graphite, that's the lead in the pencil, since the 16th century, when an enormous deposit was discovered on the approach to Grey Knots close to Seathwaite in the nearby Borrowdale Valley. The graphite was used to line moulds for cannonballs, resulting in rounder, smoother balls that could be fired further. A pencil factory was established in Keswick in the 19th century, and pencils were made here until 2007, when the factory moved to Workington. However, the associated Derwent Pencil Museum, which had opened in 1981, remained in the town. Now, if you think that a museum devoted to pencils would be a tad boring, think again. The museum traces the history of this humble writing instrument and tells how it has shaped the lives of the people of our nation for well over 400 years. It has some interesting 
and sometimes very surprising stories to tell, including one about how pencils were used to help captured servicemen escape Nazi Germany in World War II. Star of the show is one of the world's largest pencils, a yellow pencil completed in May 2001 that stands just short of a remarkable 8 metres long. The museum is well worth a visit if you're in town, and also has a gift shop and a coffee shop. Back in town, prepare to be confused, or puzzled at the very least, in the Puzzling Place, a small but quite absorbing attraction situated a short distance from the main market square. Up these stairs is a world where logic is turned on its head in a wide range of optical illusions. It is a place where small can suddenly become large. If, after viewing the galleries of optical illusions, you decide you want to create some of your own, Fear not, the attraction has a shop with lots of illusions available. Keswick Museum and Art Gallery is situated in Fitz Park. It tells the story of Keswick and the surrounding area through a range of exhibitions, family activities and special events throughout the year. If you want to find out how Keswick developed into the bustling tourist town it is today, then the museum is the place to visit. One of the displays in the museum features the story of a Keswick School of Industrial Art. Viewers of the many antiques programmes on television in the UK will no doubt also be familiar with the Keswick School and its importance in late 19th and early 20th century artwork. The old school no longer exists. The building is currently a tea room beside the River Greta. However, the tradition of creative artworks is maintained by the Maker's Mill. It features four professional work studios, including handmade furniture, ceramics, textiles and mixed media art, all centred around a shared exhibiting gallery. Close to the Maker's Mill, on the aptly named Brewery Lane, is Keswick Brewery, where you can not only taste and buy the beers brewed on site, but you can also enjoy a tour of the brewery on selected days in the year. In addition to having an award-winning theatre, Keswick also has a rather lovely little cinema, the Alhambra, which is situated a couple of minutes' walk from the Market Square. This may be a traditional picture house that is now over 100 years old, but it has a modern state-of-the-art sound and projection facilities and a beautifully restored auditorium so that you can enjoy the latest film releases in comfort. A mile out of town, close to what used to be the old road to Penrith, lies Castle Rigstone Circle. Erected around 5,000 years ago in a dramatic mountain setting, Castle Rig is thought to be a little older than Stonehenge and potentially one of the first such monuments to be constructed in England. It was taken into state care in 1883 and is now under the guardianship of English heritage. Display boards offer information about the origins and preservation of the site. There is limited parking on the road beside the circle. The walk out from Keswick Town Centre takes about 30 minutes. Back in town, Keswick no longer has the permanent branch of a bank. Barclays has a part-time office situated in Keswick Museum on Station Road. Both NatWest and Lloyd's have mobile banking services, NatWest in Central Car Park on Mondays and Lloyd's in Bellclose Car Park every other Thursday. There are two building societies in the town, the Cumberland and the Skipton Building Societies. Both are on Station Street. There may be no banks, but Bank Street does have a post office. There is a small hospital 
in which there is an urgent treatment centre should you need one. There are also two pharmacies in the town, Boots on Main Street and Coins on Station Street. In addition, there is an optician on Southey Street. For our four-legged family members, there is Millcroft Vets on Southey Hill. The practice has its own parking facilities for easier access. For those wishing to visit a church whilst in Keswick, there is a good choice. Crosthwaite Church on the western edge of town is where Canon Hardwick Rawnsley, the co-founder of the National Trust, was based in the latter part of the 19th century. Rawnsley is an important character in the history of the modern Lake District. Along with his wife Edith, he founded the Keswick School of Industrial Art. He also promoted the conservation of the area and is the man credited with inventing the idea of having footpath signs to help people get about in the countryside. Other churches in the town include St John's on Ambleside Road, Our Lady of the Lakes and St Charles, and Keswick Methodist Church on Southey Street. So there you have it, my simple guide to Keswick. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, you can always subscribe to the channel. Until the next time, happy wondering.